Hello everyone, welcome to Jira Training. In this video, we can see how to create a sprint and what is backlogs, product backlog and sprint backlog. Okay, so now we are pointing to the backlog screen. So you have to choose the uh, respective project, then we can see this view. So you have to click on backlogs. Okay, so there is a button called create sprint. Just click on create sprint. So sprint one is already running. So already done the task. So sprint two I am creating. So what you have to do? We should drag the backlogs to sprint two. So based on the priority and based on the planning, you can drag the backlogs to the sprint backlogs. So here I can explain you what is product backlog and what is sprint backlog. So whatever backlog under the backlog five issue these are all product backlog like task bug whatever related to the product we have been assigned to any sprint so that's called product backlog so if you assign the product backlog to uh, like uh, any sprint so whatever the sprint like whatever the backlog under the sprint that is called sprint backlogs so this was like uh, people usually will ask what is backlog what is backlog and what is product backlog what is sprint backlog everything is same so if the backlog is created and kept it under backlog that is simple backlog and we can say product backlog and if you move that to the sprint any of the sprint so that is a sprint backlog for sprint 2 and uh, so here you can see the details like issue detail you can see whatever we have created and uh, you can from here also you can assign to someone's for example I have assigned to myself you can add a uh, descriptions okay if for example this one is assigned to someone else I can watch if anything changed I can still get the notifications and uh, log time add flag you can clone whatever it is so here you can add a attachment or you can add a link issue other issue you can link it here okay so under this for example you have created API for sign up under this there will be so many uh, simple tasks like create a DB, then create a PHP actions or Java actions. So that all we can create as a sub task Something like DB for sign up or table for sign up. So we have created a sub task. So MSY 10 is a sub task of MSY 3. This MSY is our project name, my sample project that is like if you give the name based on that it will take this uh, three first three letters of the project okay this so you can create a sprint and here you can plan plan sprint you can add a meeting notes whenever meeting happens and see uh, once you create a sprint once you drag you have to plan estimate estimate it's it's zero actually so no one has given estimation so log time something like two hour date started and date so how much time you want I have given log time So here there is an option called time estimate okay, for each task. So when this time estimates will happen on sprint. So when they do sprint planning, uh, the product owner will assign all the backlog to sprint. So it will assign to the people also. For example, mine, my task, I can come here and I can give a time estimate. For example, uh, week to week you have to give two w if it is one week one w one day one d and hour is h and minutes is m so that's how you have to give i want four hour and 30 minutes so based on that the time estimation is already done so maybe for 10 days if you are taking uh, 10 days sprint in the sense 80 hours you have to get the task 
So based on the estimation only, they, you will get a toss or backlog to the sprint. I think you guys have understood how to create a sprint and how to move backlog to sprint backlog and how to give the estimation. Once you create a sprint, if you try to move the backlog, you will get the warning like uh, so that a sprint performance will go off something like that. So once you create a sprint in plan, so you are not allowed to add a backlog to the current sprint. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe.